Oh, it's very watery. Less is more. So what's your logic with the stain? Stain this lovely natural wood and then seal it in with a, um, a bathroom varnish. Just so, because the colour of the wood's a bit too pale. I think you could stain it dark a bit. Make it look a bit more luminous. <laughs> So we're about to do the floor in here, but before we do the floor we thought we should probably sand the walls so the floor doesn't get dirty. So we're just going to sand very lightly the, um, the filler that's over the tape where it joins the plasterboard. It's quite dusty though, so I'll probably get rid of you before I carry on properly with the hand sander. This is the first time that we've used vinyl click tiles. Um, Lionel. Lionel. <laughs> this is the first time we've used Lionel click tiles. Vinyl, it, vinyl, yeah, okay. Vinyl. Vinyl, okay. This is, so this is the first time we've used vinyl click tiles. Um, and we made a quick start last night because um, we were eager to make progress and uh, quite happy with how it's going. Um, some bits were quite tricky, like we had to try and slide one underneath a really, really heavy radiator that weighs sort of about half a ton and is piped in, so um, didn't have a lot of give. But we managed to get it in there, and they're quite clever, really. They um, they have these like little kind of clips, I guess. So once they do go in, they're they're pretty solid and pretty secure. Um, so we've gone for some sort of stone effect ones, and we've put down. A uh, of an underliner, and uh, now we're just trying to sort of cut them off size and click them in. Once we'll be through that little piece there. This just goes round the toilet. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Because <laughs> I'm very tired. Not really need this. <laughs> So for the most part, the uh, the sort of videos that you see online make installing um, this kind of click vinyl flooring really easy, and for the most part it is. Um, but when you get to the last piece, oh, it's tricky. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the skirting boards off here, and we didn't want to break the plasterboard, so um, we've had to leave them. And we will be covering it up, but 
just trying to get a piece that could get under here and then get enough pressure but I'm hoping I cut it right this time and I can just might not be able to get it out now just cleaning the grout off and it looks stunning We've got a lovely sheen and a natural pattern to them. Very good. Very happy. I'll wait to see the grout on them. Could do that today if you have time. Well, I think that's the job for you. Say that. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> right, so we... I thought we were in the final straights, but... Uh, it's actually, these fiddly bits take so long to do. Uh, we have um, had some fun trying to get this threshold right. The challenge we've got, of course, is we don't want the water to run into the bathroom. So we wanted to make sure that there was a little slope that ran inwards, but also sloping down towards the, uh, towards the shower tray. Um, so what we've done is we've kind of cut some tiles and we've try to make sure that it was both a slope inwards and a slope downwards. It just makes it really, really tricky getting a clean cut. The other challenge we've had is, and I don't know if you can see it, but where the door is going to go here, obviously the bottom of the door is going to be, if it was on the floor, it would be the lowest point. And so it would knock against the tiles at the top. So what we've had to do is raise a tile up just down here on the right hand side and hopefully that will mean that when we plant the door sort of seating on top of it um, there'll be enough clearance so that the door can just clear the the end of this step here it's going to be quite tricky um, yeah anyway now the next bit we, we basically just got to wait for this one to dry because it's got a great big almost one inch pad of uh, tile adhesive underneath it so it'll take quite a long time for that to dry so we might not be able to do it today um, but once that's sorted, then we'll be tiling up here. But we need to make sure that the door is just right, so we've got the right amount of space at the top. But we're nearly there now. Oh, I say that. I said that yesterday. Um, it feels like we're not too far away now. Um, and soon we'll be able to do all the stuff like grouting, which is quite rewarding because you really start to see the transformation. Um, but yeah, slowly getting there. So what you want to do is you want to cut it, so it's diagonally like that. Uh, can you do that? And I'll do this block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exciting news. This is the final piece of the jigsaw. This tiny piece is the last tile. We need to lay in the top. I'm very excited. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on it. 
fees to the uni. I'd say there's probably over 500 tiles in this bathroom and this is the final piece of the jigsaw. And in she goes, the crowning glory. It's like the icing on the cake. I don't have room for space, so we'll let that one slide. <laughs> so there we go, done. It's now on to the more exciting things. Just got to clean up now. Yeah, it's got to clean up and plumb in a new shower, paint everything, prime everything, install the loo, do the lights at the sink. And once this is dried, we'll put in the, um, the glass door, which is going to be very tricky, but we hopefully this is the exact same size as the door. So we should be fine, good to go. We'll, uh, anyway, stay tuned for that part. So how's it going? This is the tiling around the sink where the mirror is going to be and the two lights either side. Yeah, so we are just putting in the final tiles before we take a break because we've got to get the electrician in and he's going to sort out these lights. Um, but it's looking really good. I think like, thankfully these walls are more straight than many of the ones in the chateau and so it means that we can measure them all and cut them all to the same size and just run straight up. That's because this wall has been put in fairly recently. Just finishing off the final bits of uh, tile grouting. Looks like you're painting the walls black. That's pretty much what I'm doing. It's uh, put loads on and then then uh, squeegee it off, um, and then I'll clean it up afterwards. But yeah. so tiny. But also a very luxurious bathroom to any would-be punters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's day five, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bloody hell. Seven days I have been stuck in this bathroom. Um, Chris has almost locked me in. He's basically um, gone back to London and given me a task list with a single job, which is to just finish this bathroom, um, which is about a million jobs. I have to say, like, we've got the toilet off, so we've had a hole straight down to the sewage system, uh, and I've just been in here, this stinking room, painting, filling, tiling, cleaning tile grout, off, putting tile grout on, getting it off again, siliconing, caulking, oh god, um, it's been a big job, um, but we're nearly there now, so uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have it finished. <laughs>
day I've lost count I think it's day eight that I've been in this bathroom um, now I'm on to trying to fill in chips in the uh, in the shower tray um, we didn't want to buy a new one because we're trying to save money I'm slightly regretting that now <laughs> Um, but hopefully we've got this like chip repair kit, hopefully it'll be fine when I'm finished. Let's see if we can direct you towards what we're up to over here. I'll be able to see that, but it's pretty good. So it's day nine in the, uh, the bathroom. Uh, more, more purgatory. Um, final stages now though. I've just got to um, sort out the silicon on the trim, which has been really tricky because it's an uneven surface. So trying to get a nice clean line has been quite tough. Clockwise. Clockwise even. Oh no. So it's as tight as I can go really. I can't go wrong, can I? Mm -hmm. 